Hey, hey, uh, what's, what's going on? Boss sent me out here and said there was some commotion going on, so I uh, came in my Z telepod. Have you heard of one of those? Of course you haven't. It's my fucking telepod. It's the newest telepod. I just cleaned it outside, inside. I fucking love that telepod. Uh, it's just over there. The commotion you're talking about is just right around the corner. All right, cool. I'm going to solve this mystery. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm Pink Trover. There's going to be a whole spinoff of me on this game. I got a story, too. I'm Pink. I'm awesome. And I'm going to figure this shit out. Nobody's going to fuck with me. I'm Pink Trover. <laughs> That pink fucking version of me, there's a lot of us, has a fucking telepod. You heard him? It's right around the corner. Let's go, hurry. It's our only way out of here. I don't want to be fucking trapped here for the rest of my life. Oh my God, that poor pink Trover. What an idiot. What a dummy. Holy shit. But also, wow, this is a really nice fancy telepod. I mean, it's better than that garbage we've been using this whole time. I mean, it's got different, it's different colors. I think this is a T-8000 model. Wow. It's got all kinds of doodads in here. I mean, it looks pretty much the same, but I mean, there's all kinds of doodads in it. Pink Trover, what, what did you find out? Oh, it's you two. I must have misdialed. Trover, Cherorpian. Things are looking very grim. Several wor worlds have been merged. Your dogs and the abstainers are going to be killed. I can't get a hold of the abstainers. Glorcon's blocked access to their inner sanctum. Telepod is blocked from going there too. Come to my office. Hurry. I I'll brief you there on what the next steps are, but this shit is all totally changed. Shit's all fucked up. It's unpredictable. Everything just took a giant left turn. I'll see you at my office. We fucking played right into Glorcon's hands. We're, 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 we're fucking idiots. He's a, he, we thought he was so stupid, he's a fucking genius. He played us like a fiddle. <laughs> and now he's got control of the abstainers. And, and he's, and he's, um, and he's got the crystal babies. We need those fucking crystal babies, you know? And, and he's got your dog still. We haven't really done anything. We haven't done much of anything. I mean, this might as well be the beginning of the video game. I mean, we might as well have started the video game, like, right here, narratively. <laughs> because that's basically where we're at. We're basically at the fucking be beginning, aside from all the fucking, you know narrative story arc between you and me and like you know our friendship and all that stuff i mean we may as well this may as well be the boot up screen for the game right now because we're fucking back to square zero this is fucked jesus christ what the fuck are we gonna do shit i didn't see this coming D did you see this coming yes or no come on nod your little fucking peanut head did you see this yeah, shit me neither we're fucking fucked this is ridiculous this fucking guy okay we all we underestimated him we got it. We got to move. We got to move. We just left Pink Trover behind. Oh shit. Trover, Cherorpian, what took you so long to get back here? What were you playing with your ding dong? Yes or no? Ah, uh, you were playing with your ding dong. That's good. It's healthy, it's natural, it's hot, it's sexy, and it's gonna help prepare you with what I have to tell you right now. <laughs> A bunch of worlds are all destroyed. You know, th th this device is being powered by the abstainers through the crystal babies. All right, y boss, w w what do the abstainers say? I mean, w w what do the abstainers want us to do? We've lost all contact with the abstainers, Trover. The last thing they said to me was, the Glorcon was planning to blow up a bunch of planets in the Tarvo galaxy, which is admittedly very, very far away and fairly inconsequential to us, but still, it's it's just a bunch of crazy bullshit. Wait a minute, so all, all he was gonna do was just merge a handful of worlds together? That's a big deal, Trover. This motherfucker merged a bunch of worlds together, and uh, uh, quite frankly, we don't know if he's gonna do it again. I think he probably will. Well, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are we gonna do? This guy's this guy played us! That's right, Trover, he played you. I, I've been busy playing cards. Now shut the fuck up. Let, Listen to me, I have a plan. We still have the coordinates to Glorcon's home planet. That's where he's keeping his world merging device. That's where his secret base is. And that's where the crystal babies are. The only problem is the planet is being shielded by a giant impenetrable force field. All we have to do is shut down the force field. It's easy. Well, how do we do that? What, what the fuck? What, what are we supposed to do? Trover, we gotta blow up Mixed World. Mixed World is powering Gorkon's force field around his secret base planet. You, wanna, you want us to blow up a planet? A bunch of planets that are merged together? Are you fucking serious? You, you hear Trover, yourself? I don't want to hear any more of this out of you. Trover, <laughs> do you think you're up for this? Uh, 
Oh, yeah, confident, huh? Real confident. You better be. And quit trying to play with your little ding-dong. This is serious. We gotta save the this localized area of the cosmos. And you're sitting there trying to play with your little ding-dong in here. Anyway, Glorkon just destroyed a handful of worlds, merging them together, and he created one giant mixed world. That's a problem. He's also gonna kill your dogs, Cheerorpion, and the abstainers are gonna die too. I mean, is that enough stakes for us? I mean, you got all that, Trover? You following along here? Yeah, yes, yes, okay, we got it. Okay, on this mixed world, there's a bomb planting site. You're gonna need to plant a bomb in that receptacle. Where the fuck are we, where's this bomb you're talking about? Where, where I'm we? getting to that, Trover, goddammit. You're gonna let me <laughs> fucking finish my conversation. In order to get the bomb, you're gonna need to go talk to my good friend, one of the funniest guys I know, comedy guy. He's my best friend, one of my best friends, and he also happens to be a bomb expert. And, and he'll tell some hilarious jokes, He'll lift your spirits. His name is Comedy Guy. He has the bomb. So just whenever you're ready, go ahead and press the button on the telepod and it'll take you to Comedy Guy. And then from there, you'll go to Mix World. Jesus Christ, what a hot mess. Partner, come on, hit the button. Let's go to Comedy Guy and get this bomb. Maybe we'll hear some jokes. I don't know. <sighs> Man, you know... You know, whenever the chips are down, Comedy Guy's there to get, to give you a little laugh and a chuckle. You know, he, he always brings a smile to the table. Uh-huh. He's You know, and he's got a good, lovable, you know, rated G type sense of humor. Uh, e for everyone tone with his comedy. He's very... But it'll still make the edgiest person laugh because his comedy is so sharp and honed and he's just he's such a light delightful lovable happy-go-lucky character he's always funny and laughing and just having uh -huh. a great time and, and it's so it's and he also happens to know a lot about bombs and you know <laughs> like how to make really ex horrible explosive bombs that could devastate uh -huh. and destroy he it's a weird coincidence but it's great thank god it's him and not someone else because you need a laugh yeah things are dark things are we're in our darkest days right now uh -huh. this is the darkest part and we need a good chuckle and a smile so comedy guy's my good friend and he's good and he's great it's gonna make you chuckle and you're gonna get a good laugh out of it uh-huh and boy oh boy i wish i could be there i wish i could go with you i i need a laugh too but i gotta stay back here and man the station uh, get ready for when you're, when you when you when you're place when you're done placing all the bombs. I got to get ready for, for to tell you what to do next, because it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. All right, I'm going to shut the door now, Chair Orpian. Make sure your little ding dong is out of the way. Believe me, you don't want your ding dong getting slammed in between these telepod doors as it closes. It hurts really bad, and you guys would end up in the space hospital getting your ding dongs worked on. I can say that from experience. Good luck out there, you two. You're my favorites. Man, this is a bunch of bullshit. I can't believe Glorcon played us like he did. And, and all this shit would have happened whether I had been with you or not. I, I, I could have been doing my own thing this whole time, you know? I mean, I stuck around with you for what? And, and now we gotta blow up a planet? I mean, Jesus Christ. That sounds like what bad guys do, blowing up planets. Oh, all right, look. Let's just check out Comedy Guy's routine, get the bomb, and then go blow up this entire planet. Come on, partner. Let's go. I want to meet Comedy Guy. I want to get. I want to get my laugh on. I want to collect these bombs and chuckle. Get some chuckles out. I need to get a chuckle out of my system. 